In this particular question, we are given nine different cards. Each of those cards contains different shapes, so we have either circles, triangles, or squares, different numbers of shapes, so we have either one, two, or three objects, and different shadings. We have either solid, striped, or clear shadings. From these nine cards, we are asked to build sets of cards and each of our sets must contain three cards. Using the three attributes given to us, number of objects, shape of object, or shading of object, we are told that each of our sets must contain either all the same number of objects or three different objects. We must have all of the same shape or three different shapes, we must have all of the same shadings or three different shadings. We're also told that we have to have the number category correct, either all the same or all different, and we have to have the shape all the same or all different, and we have to have the shading all the same or all different. We can use the cards more than once to build the three sets that we're asked to build containing these attributes. For example, this is a set that would fit all of the attributes that we're asked to include. So we can see that we have three different numbers of objects, one object, two objects, three objects, and we have three different shapes, circle, triangles, squares, and we also have all the same shading. So all three of these cards have a solid shading. This is an example of three cards that would not be a set that contains these attributes. So we can see here with the shading, we either need the same shading or three different shadings. This is not a solid shading and we also don't have three different shadings. So this is not a set that would fit the attributes we're asked to include. I would choose an attribute to begin with. So for example, if we look at the shadings, we do not have three clear cards. We also do not have three striped cards. So I know that I'm not going to be able to build a set with all clear cards or with all striped cards. So that indicates I'm either gonna have to have three solid or I'm going to have to have one of each of the different shadings. And then if we look at the shape attribute or characteristic, I can see that I only have one triangle card, so I'm not gonna be able to build a set of all triangles. I can also see that I have three circle cards. However, these two happen to have the same shading, and so I'm also not gonna build a set of all three circle cards. So let's maybe begin with the squares because that's the shape that we have the most frequently. And I can see that within the same shading, I have one square, two squares, three squares. So I think that's going to fit all three of those attributes. So let's put them down here and check. So we need to have the same number or three different numbers. Well, I can see that I have one, two, three. So that fits the three different numbers. I'm good there. And we have to have the same shape or three different shapes. Well, they are all squares, so we have the same shape. And then I have to check the shading. I need all of the same shading or three different shadings. So we can see that these are all solid shadings. So we have the same shading and the same shape and three different numbers. So we've checked off all three of those attributes. This is a set containing the characteristics we are asked to include. So far, I've used three solid cards and three solid cards. Is there a way that we can incorporate a set using either the clear cards or the striped cards? Well, we already know that we don't have enough cards to do a set of all clear or all striped. So we could try to do one with three different shadings. And then if I take a look at this, I know that I'm going to have to have three striped squares because that's my only striped card. So that tells me that my cards are going to have to contain three different numbers because I don't have any three circles. So we do have a card with two circles. So that would be two different shapes, two different shadings. So if I need three different shapes, three different shadings, that means I'm going to need a triangle and I'm gonna need one triangle and I don't have that card. So let's maybe switch this around here. If I go with three striped squares, I have two solid squares, but I don't have one clear square, which is what I would need to get the three different shadings. So let's maybe take our triangle card here because we do have two solid triangles. So I could take these three striped squares, these two solid triangles, and then this one clear circle. So let's put this down here and then check if it fits. So we need the same number or three different numbers. So I have one, two, three different numbers. Numbers, so that is this attribute. I need the same shape or three different shapes. Well, I have three different shapes. I have a circle, triangles, and squares. So that fits this attribute. And I need the same shading or three different shadings. I have a clear, 
a solid, and a striped. So again, this set fits all three attributes that we are asked to include. We now have our three sets. Each set contains three cards, and this is what it means by all of the cards can be used more than once. You can see that we have the two triangles that are solid in this first set. We also have the two triangles that are solid in this third set. So we began with one of the attributes. We checked to see, do we have three cards to build all of the same attribute within a set? We eliminated the ones that didn't, and then we used the process of deduction to figure out what can we put together that would fit all three of these characteristics. We need to have the first one and the second one and the third one included in order to win the game. In this next example, we are given 12 cards and this time we have four attributes. We have different colors, different shapes, different numbers of objects on each card and different shadings. We are asked to build six sets of cards. Each set will contain three cards. They have to have the same number or three different numbers and the same shape or three different shapes and the same color or three different colors and the same shading or three different shadings. Choose an attribute to begin with. So let's say we start with colors and I can see that I've got four green cards and three of those are triangles. So we would be able to build a set with all of the same color, all of the same shape, and we have three different numbers of objects. We also have three different shadings. So that's going to fit all of our attributes. We have three different numbers of objects. We have all of the same shape. They're all triangles. They are all green, so they're all the same color. And we have three different shadings. We have the clear, the solid, and the striped. So then if we go on to maybe the blue ones, because I don't have a lot of blue cards, let's check. We have all the same color. We have three different shapes, three different numbers of objects, three cards, they're all clear, so they're all the same shading. So this would be another set of cards we could use. I have a set of all green cards and all blue cards. Let's see if we can build a set with different colors of cards, and I'm going to have to have three different colors. So I'm going to choose a shape to begin with, and let's say that I choose this square. If I'm going to choose a square, am I able to build a set with all three squares? Well, I have one square, two squares, three squares. So now I'm gonna check, I have all the same shape, three different colors, I have three different numbers, and I also have three different shadings. So that is one set of cards that's going to fit. So check your attributes again. So we have three different numbers. We have all of the same shape. They're all squares. We have three different colors, green, red, and blue. We also have three different shadings, the solid, the striped, and the clear. So these three cards fit all four attributes that we have to include. Starting again with this one green square, let's see if we can build another set with three different colors and three different shapes. So if I'm going to start with one green square, take a look at the cards that have two objects and we have the two green triangles, we have the two blue circles, or we have the two striped squares. Well I don't want to use the striped squares because I've already used that and in order to build all the same shape I'm going to need three squares which is just that set. So if we've already used that one with that green square that leaves us with the two circles or with the two triangles. So take a look at which cards have three. So if I go with a square and the circles, I would need three triangles, so that card could work. If I were to go with the square and the triangles, I would need another solid card to make three of the same shading, and I don't have three green solid ones. So that's not going to work. However, this other one will work. So again, check, we have three different numbers, we have three different shapes, we have three different colors and we have three different shadings. So those are four sets of cards that contain all of these attributes. See if you can keep going to build two more sets in order to get our six sets of cards. And then in this next question, we are told that these cards up here are only part of a complete set of cards. So using what we know about those four attributes and the cards that we can see, we are asked to begin by determining what is the total number of cards in that deck. When solving a logic problem, sometimes it helps to begin to draw out and visualize what we know. So we know that there are four attributes, and because the second question wants to know what is the total number of triangle cards in the deck, we can begin with the triangles. So let's take the triangles, and I'm going to start with one color, let's say the green triangles. So 
if I start by writing these out, we can see that we have one, two, three solid green triangles. We can also have those three green triangles in striped or in clear, taking into account all three types of shading, the three different numbers of objects, these nine cards represent my set of green triangles. I'm also going to have a set of nine cards of the blue triangles and nine cards of the red triangles. So nine green plus nine blue plus nine red, I'm going to end up with 27 triangles in total. And then if we have 27 triangle cards, we're also going to have 27 square cards and 27 circle cards. So if I go 27 cards in each shape, I have three different shapes, I'm going to have 81 cards in total. And then a third of those are going to to be green. So we can take 81 divided by 3 and we're going to have 27 green cards in the deck. 27 will be red and 27 will be blue. In our next question, we're asked for the total number of cards with shading. So shading would be the solid cards or the striped cards, so anything but clear. And we can see that we are going to have a third of the deck is solid, so 27 cards will be solid. A third of the deck will be striped, so 27 cards will be striped. So we're going to have 54 cards in total that are either solid or stripes, so have some kind of shading. We could also use a Venn diagram to help us figure out this solution. So the first thing we want to ask ourselves is solid or striped? Are those going to be disjoint circles or circles that are intersecting? Well, a card cannot be both solid and striped at the same time. So we're going to have disjoint sets, and then we can see that there are 27 solid, 27 striped. So the number of solid or striped, that's going to be the bowl that contains everything. We're going to add up 27 7 plus 27, 54 cards. Question E wants to know the number of cards that are a triangle card or a green card. So again, you're going to ask yourself, is it possible for a card to be both a triangle and a green card at the same time? And clearly, we have this one drawn out, we can see that it is. So we can set up intersecting circles, and then we're going to say, okay, we have 27 triangle cards, we figured that out for B. We also know we have 27 green cards, we figured that out for C. Now, how many of those cards start with the center are both a triangle and a green card? Well, we've drawn out our triangle cards and green cards, and we know that there are nine. So if we have 27 cards in the triangle circle, nine of them happen to be green, 27 minus 9 means that there are 18 cards that are a triangle that are not green, and likewise there are going to be green cards that are not a triangle. Nine of them will be red, nine of them will be blue. So or, that's your bowl that contains everything, so if we add this up, we're going to have 18 plus 18 plus 9. 45 cards will be a triangle or a green card. And then the last one, we're asked for the number of cards that are green and shaded. So this is this shaded is set S. So again, we can draw a Venn diagram. So we have 27 green cards, we have 54 shaded cards. So of the shaded cards, one third of them are going to be green. So if we go 54 divided by 3, 18 of them are green, 18 will be blue, 18 will be red. So we're going to have 18 cards that are shaded and green. You can also think about of the green cards that we have, so we have 27 green cards, we're going to have only nine of them that are going to be not shaded. So a third of them will be clear, two thirds of them are going to have either stripes or solid. So there's different ways that you can reason this out, but a Venn diagram is one that could help you organize your information.